Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the 1998 Safari Limited Styracosaurus, the last figure from the estate sale. And the only one I got from the second building. There were two buildings at the uh, sale. I only went, we spent most of our time in the first one. I barely, I didn't really get to, uh, much of a chance to go in the second one. And this was the only figure that in there that I thought looked interesting. Because I initially thought this was a Carnegie figure. But looking at this figure, this is actually not a Carnegie figure. This is a part of the original Wild Safari line. Basically, originally, Safari Limited split their figures, their dinosaur figures. The Carnegie collection were the ones meant for, like, serious adult collectors, while the Wild Safari figures were intended for children. Of course, many of the... Once uh, Carnegie and stopped, they basically stopped doing that. And even before that, they had started to make some more uh, models that could be appreciated by all ages. And, um... This is one of the Wild Safari figures, and one of the few... It's been discontinued since then, but... I don't know, it's very interesting. Because this is one of the few from that line that I actually own. The only really other one I own is the Spinosaurus. Um, they're like original Spinosaurus. Now, when I looked at this figure for the first time, I thought he was in pretty good condition. That isn't until I turned him. Oh, oh no. He's missing his spikes. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate that this figure was in pretty good condition, but he's missing his spikes. That's so unfortunate. But I decided to buy him anyways, because I think he looks, I think he looked nice. And I also only had to pay $2 for him, so I think this was a decent deal. Uh, the figure is alright. Uh, definitely alright. I really would have wished I had more of the other spikes, but, oh uh, well, uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, he's very, very standard looking, pretty average looking. Safari does have a better Styracosaurus for those who want it. And I'm not just talking about the Carnegie one. They also made one in the Wild Safari line recently. But he's not bad looking. Uh, he is in a bit of an awkward looking pose. In fact, when I first got him, I thought he was misposed and he was supposed to be like this. But you can't pose him like that. He'll just fall over. You actually have to pose him rearing up like this. Which, okay, that's a little weird. But, you know, not, not a deal breaker. This figure's alright. He's not great, but I don't think he's horrible. I think this figure's decent. Um, again, really wish I had that other set of spikes, though. That would have made him look so much better, uh, which is really unfortunate, but what are you going to do in this day and age? Uh, so yeah, that is it of the estate sale figures, and I will see you guys when I get something else to review.